Hello guys and welcome back to a new vlog video. I'm starting this vlog super late today. It's just gone seven o'clock and I'm loving how light it is. I've just got back from the dentist because I went to go and pick up my retainer for obviously my Invisalign but my bonding so my teeth have to be all rescanned. Um, but I've not had a proper retainer for about three weeks because basically when I had my bonding done, he just cut my retainer down to, on the old teeth that sort of fit in, if that made sense. So I literally just had like literally four little molar bits to go on and a little thin bit of plastic around the back, which literally didn't do anything for the front. Um, so when I put this on, it felt so so tight i felt like my teeth moved when i put it on but i know it didn't you know when you sort of have braces and you, your teeth feel like wobbly so it does feel like super tight but i've got to wear this now every day or 22 hours a day for six months um something to do with like, the root of your teeth and everything so i've got like three sets of um retainers um so at least yeah i've got them now but i can also use these as well to whiten my teeth um, but yeah, I'm going to um, London tomorrow. I'm going to get my hair done and getting a nice good cut. Also getting my nails done. Look at the state of them. They are my wedding nails. So they definitely need soaking off. I've been doing a bit of decorating around the house. I finally finished off doing like my um, studio room panelling. So I had to sand all the corking down. So obviously I just trashed all my nails. But I thought I'd just quickly show you. I've got some new bits for the kitchen diner area because we're hopefully doing the dining area soon. The chairs are coming in the next few days i've already got a dining room table i've got my rugs now i need to get some underlay for them i'm still having a nightmare with rugs and this thick carpet in our house like yeah it's doing my head i'm trying to find like older rugs out and see if i can use them as an underlay because yeah there's different like grip things you can get if you have to watch some sort of damage your floor and everything see i'm constantly battling rugs at the moment but i'll show you what i've got for the dining room so we finally have a blind up in the kitchen now. I picked up some bits from like HomeSense and everything. So I got this little wooden tray from HomeSense. I've also been like mixing up the sides. Like I'm constantly like changing this around. And um, I also got these. This was from MacArthur again. I got it from Pro Cook. Um, it's like a nice little utensil thing, but you can put your phone in it. But I thought I'd use it to slide my um, HelloFresh recipes in it when I'm cooking. And then Russ always watches his phone when he's cooking as well. So we like that little feature, just sort of twizzles. Twizzles range just from Pro Cook, And I also got this from Pro Cook as well. Um, and then this side, I'm going to be setting up our new coffee machine. So I'm just figuring out doing a little coffee station. I got a like marble chopping board. Then got this little marble tray from HomeSense as well to put my syrups in that on. I need to find all my decor books. Literally everything's lobbed in the garage. I can't find anything. It's driving me crazy. And Russ picked up this little olive tree yesterday and this planter. It's just from Jisk. I absolutely love Jisk. But yeah, I'm gonna put like a little box in the bottom and then some sort of like faux soil you can get and like moss and stuff. But it's literally just a fake olive tree and it looks really cute. You can bend all these little bits and I also have paint samples on the wall because we're going to um clad like bead pile this whole back wall um I'm just struggling to find the camera's going to keep going in and out um a nice white I want this space obviously the kitchen has like it has it can feel quite cool in here um, so I don't want to make the room feel colder. So I want to find, obviously the floor is warm. So I'm trying to find a nice white paint which feels nice and warm. So I've ordered lots of samples from like Lick and lots of little paint brands. I'm going to do loads of swatches everywhere because I'm getting really fussy with paints. And then this is going to be our new dining room light. Here you go, just inspecting that. So this is just from Next. I wanted something that was really like, really simple, but wasn't, I wanted a feature light, but nothing that was too overpowering. And so obviously with the kitchen and the dining area being all in one and I just really loved how modern these were and I've got my two rugs down there but I haven't um unboxed them yet so I'm praying they look okay and that is my coffee machine and um, which I need to set up so yeah that's a little home update so I'm in London tomorrow I might have a little nose around um HM home as well there's literally so much I want to get for this house but I'm just sort of like making sure I take my time with like decorating and styling I don't want to start buying furniture and just like brushing it needs to be the right furniture i think i've said before on my other vlogs that this is our forever home so i just want to make sure that whatever i'm doing like decorating and everything it's right um so i'm being super fussy but yeah i cannot wait to get my hair cut tomorrow i don't want it to go a little bit shorter or not and um, i'm not going to go as short as i used to because i looked at old pictures and i actually prefer my hair being a little bit longer but i love these like face framing layers i've had 
put in. So I'm going back to Hershen's in um, London. I'm having the same guy, Ryan. He cut my hair last time. And you know when you find someone who cuts your hair and that is, a, yeah, that is your person, like he was amazing. And I'm like, yeah, I need to book in with him again. He was so good. So yeah, I literally can't wait for a fresh trim tomorrow and some new nails. We used to have each other's playlists No, no we used to be each other's best friends Yeah And now we go our separate pathways But your heart's still in mind Yeah And maybe we could try it next week Again since I last picked up this vlog. So my hair is slick back today because I've been filming like fashion and styling videos upstairs in my studio room, but it feels so much better having quite a bit cut off it. I was obviously growing it for the wedding, but when my hair gets to a certain length, it just hangs, it just doesn't look nice. And it gets really awkward to style. Um, so yeah, it feels so much better having like those fangs trimming bits and that bit shorter off the length, but I just can't believe how much my hair has grown, like literally crazy. When I had it cut with Ryan, he was like, your hair has grown like ridiculously amount from February, like literally, I can't believe how much it's grown, um, which is obviously a good thing, but it felt good to have a good bit locked off it. Um, and then what was it? I didn't go to my another stories appointment because my train was delayed, which meant that I missed my appointment gutted about that but I have rescheduled that for next week so fingers crossed my trains are all okay so I can go to that absolutely gutted because I was really looking forward to seeing some like new spring pieces but to be fair I find that I don't really shop that much this time of year like when it comes to clothing because I just feel like the UK the weather's so hit and miss I have like my spring staples like my linen shirts my vests and nice trousers and stuff so I feel like I don't really it's just like I literally swap out like my trainers and boots for like sandals if that makes sense and summer shoes so unless i'm actually going on holiday i will shop but i just find that i don't really shop that much so i went to zara didn't really see that much in there i did have a look for the like it bomber jackets the crop jackets that are trending right now but i didn't see any in there and i went straight to zara home which they had so much stuff like literally so much stuff my rug was in there which i'm still having a battle with that's upstairs i'm gonna get a one of the old garden rugs at the garage and give it a clean and try and use that as an underneath layer for the rug because it's still moving it's driving me crazy um but other home updates you can see in that little corner there um i've not finished that yet i'm doing like a little coffee corner i've unboxed the coffee machine um but i just need some little books and stuff i'm doing little countertop styling um i want to film some at home content for my um home account and stuff so until i'm happy with what i i'm basically it's the old vm in me i am literally like when it comes to styling a space or doing something home decor i'm very very particular and it has to be right before i'm happy with it like i've messed with the style over there so many times and i'm not happy with that till i've got like some books and whatnot and then some little like greenery um, but I'm really looking forward to seeing it all finished. I've got some really cute little labels as well off Etsy. So I'll show you all that when it's finished. So you can have a little sneak peek there. The dining room table's up now. So I'm going to show you that. We did that 
over the weekend being very hungover. So sorry that I didn't vlog putting that together because me and Russ, uh, my brother stayed over and he helped us put a light up um, from next. And then obviously the weight of the table is super heavy because it's proper like thick oak. Um, so I needed them two to flip it over. The rug's down, I'm really happy with the rug. I'm super chuffed with the rug. So it's the first rug that I love in the house. Um, I just need to put the smaller one for down there, which I'll do in a bit. Um, but yeah, let me show you the table because I'm absolutely loving it. So this is the dining room table. Do you like our little olive tree in the corner? It's from Jisk, Russ picked it up the other day, but I need to put some books in the bottom and get some of that, um, it's like faux, like moss, so you can get off Amazon. So I need to get some of that for it. But this is the dining room table. It's from Olivia's and I do have a discount code as well for them, which I'll link on the screen for you because this table is absolutely stunning. I love like the rustic, like it's not perfectly square and the oak is just, it's a perfect like tone. It works really well as well with our stools. And I'm super chuffed with the rug. This is from Wayfair. I got all our other rugs in the whole house from Wayfair. This is like an indoor, outdoor rug. So it's washable, which of course having a dog with Hugo, which is really important. Um, and I literally just got a, like you can't see that wasn't big enough because this is the biggest side. This is like, this rug's like two, 290 by, 180 or 220 it's a very big style rug so I wanted to have make sure I had enough room for obviously the table but so when the chairs are on and when you pull the chairs back the chairs are still on the rug there's nothing more annoying when you unhook your chairs try and tuck your chair back in and it gets caught on the rug so I wanted to make sure that didn't happen um I just felt like sometimes if you get the wrong size rug as well it can really make the space feel smaller that makes sense like we've ordered a big rug as well for the living room which has come now and um, but i had to get a really big rug um for the sofa so um, yeah super happy with that i have it in two sizes so i will link it i just love this pattern it's beautiful and then this is our light from next i just need to can you see where the old light fixing was i just need to fill that in and smooth it down with some sandpaper and paint around it um, also realised that we left the stickers on because we were that hungover. This was like was a challenge to get up. But it looks so nice now. It's all up. I wanted something that just felt not like too. I felt I wanted, I wanted to be part of the kitchen, but also go with the kitchen, like with the chrome and everything. But I also didn't want to have something that looked. I originally looked like big chandeliers and stuff, and I felt like it would have looked really out of place. And because I really wanted these style lights above our like um, bit here and the breakfast bar, but obviously it just would have been like too much. So I thought I'd pick these ones to go over here and I'm really pleased and they do do them in a brass as well. I was gonna do the brass, but I've gone for silver because I'm all in a room where there's two add brass tones in here. I'm not sure I haven't found the right pieces yet, but yeah, this looks so nice up and works really well with the table. And currently the dining room chairs are in here. I've got one in here and also to it in the living room because the boxes are super heavy but our downstairs toilet is absolutely ginormous so yeah i'm going to start unboxing this and get all the new chairs now i'm so excited So I've unboxed all the chairs now and how beautiful do they look with the table. So both of these are from Olivia's, the table and also these wishbone chairs are also from Olivia's. I did have my eye on another style of wishbone but they discontinued it so I was waiting for ages for a similar style to come back in. So these aren't part of the table, they're separate but I think the wood tones work perfectly especially like with the like roping detail there. It works with like the lighter tone of this table perfectly and then these chairs also match uh, so I've just been filming an unboxing for my TikTok, but super pleased with how they look. It looks so nice on this rug. I'm definitely super glad that I got the bigger size rug. So as you can see, when the chairs are pulled out, they're literally like still on the rug. 
Um, so when you tuck your chair back and you're not pulling the rug up, he goes just, yeah, that's what he thinks to the chairs. He was proper like getting involved with the boxes. I'm also not sure if I've showed you his bowls. I do have them, honestly, look how long our grass is. We can actually cut our grass now because you're meant to leave it for the first six to eight weeks for when you move in. But look how long it is, which is amazing. Because when we first moved in, it didn't really like look that great. Um, I don't know why the garden furniture is like that on the grass, but I can't wait till we've got all the other garden furniture chucked in the corner there. We are going to get this all landscaped. As you can see, it does go into a dip, but we're going to do that next summer because obviously house and wedding, the garden's going to be the last thing to do. So we're just going to work on the inside. I can't believe how much the grass has grown. Yeah, here goes bowls. They need a bit of a clean. I just need to clean this out, but they are from Easy Eat. Um, I did show them on my home account. So these just pick up and you can put them in. It's got his water and stuff there and they're personalised because obviously Hugo has IBDD, um, but they're really good. Like it's so much better for your dog to eat out of a raised bowl than one that's on the floor because you don't realise how much pressure it puts on their neck and their spine by eating uncomfortably. Like a dog doesn't look uncomfortable when they're eating, but you notice difference once they have a raised bowl. And also Hugo gets a little bit like refluxy. Like if he eats too fast, he's a bit sicky, which is a common Frenchy thing. So it really helps with that as well, not just his spine. So I'll leave them for you because I bought them myself. Like they were like a bit more expensive, but I just feel like they match perfectly in the kitchen. Hugo loves them and the quality is really good, but they're also like stackable. So as you can see, you can stack them and put them away. So say if you do have more than one dog, you can stack them and put them away, but he absolutely loves them. You have a little snooze in there. I keep trying to, he loves that Barney bed so much, but that throw is literally like his favorite throw. You know when a baby or a child has their favorite blanket, that is his favourite blanket. So it's an old pug throw, I think from like B&M or something. And um, it's not on his bed, he won't get in it. So it's his favourite throw, bless him. I also have some blinds to put on these bifold. They're like really discreet blinds. We've also got these ones up in the kitchen now. These are from Direct Order Blinds. I do have a discount code for them as well. Um, they're obviously wooden slap lines look so nice. I've got those everywhere. So I'm looking forward to getting those other ones on the bifold, but I'll link those ones for you as well as my other code. So yeah, I just need to style this table now. So I'm gonna get like a nice light linen um, throw, which matches up the undertone color of this rug. So I'm gonna get a nice linen, not throw, table runner to go down the center. Also get like a nice vase to go in the middle with some floral decor and stuff, just like a really nice centerpiece. So I'm gonna to pop to H&M home as well this week. Have a little nose in H&M, as I did promise you guys, some shopping content. So I'll head over there and see what's new, try some bits on and have a nose in H&M home too. Good morning from the room of chaos. So I have quickly just got ready. My hair was like sort of like, I went to bed with it. I blowed on it the other night and then I've only had it sort of like, not straight in the last few days, I did a blow dry. And my hair's not like greasy, greasy to do a slick back, but I thought I'm gonna try an experiment. Obviously I had these little like face framing bits put in, which are really nice. They sort of look like curtain bands, but they're not. I can sort of tuck them behind my ears and stuff. Um, so I've just loosely tied it up today um, because the weather is super miserable outside. But this is my outfit for going shopping. So I've just popped on my linen shirt from Naked. These jeans are H now. I'm gonna whack on my beige as well, probably with this. My Arquette trench coat and then my basket bag. I just love styling basket bags with these style outfits, but I thought I'd be super comfortable as always when I'm shopping. This bag is great as well. I literally just put the um, like lining on the inside. So this is the little bag that it came in, the dust bag. So I always use that for all my belongings and then just tie it up so it's nice and safe in there. But yeah, still very much loving these jeans. And feeling this outfit today, I'm just gonna see whether my hair is gonna annoy me or not. I was gonna put it in a claw clip, but my hair is like super thick. Um, and that will just like move around and annoy me, I think. So I've gone with the messy ponytail look, and then this is the outfit. I'm sorry. 
So Birmingham was successful for home shopping, but not so successful for fashion and clothing in general. I didn't see anything, literally. Actually, I picked up one t-shirt from Cars, just a plain basic, like one of their heavyweight t-shirts, like similar to the Arquette ones. Um, but in like a off, not like a white, but an off-white cream colour. So I only have like like a white t-shirt, like a white white, and then not a softer tone. I think to start with like satin skirts and whatnot, I just needed more of a cream, like softer style t-shirt. That is the only thing that I bought. And then I went into Zara, I had a quick nose round there, I didn't see anything, and it's all obviously in the shops right now, it's all literally high, like really high summer stuff and all stuff that's like printed and bright colours and everything. Like I do, I do like a bit of colour this time of year, but there was just nothing. I just didn't see anything. So I literally just did like a loop around H&M, didn't try anything on. You guys know when I film these videos, I'm normally finding loads, trying loads on for you, but I didn't see anything. So I hope when I go to London next week, I hope that there's more there in stories. I really hope so, because I think if you're not going on holiday, I find this time of year really like hard to shop anyway. So I don't, I don't really shop, so I'd rather just spend my money on homeware so i've got some really nice bits to show you that i picked up i don't know whether the camera looks all right there or whether i might just actually let me just sit down and it'll be easier there we go that's a little bit better and my hair is doing my head in i've just been like messing with it constantly and um, having it like this so i've literally picked up some bits to style the dining room table i'm sort of sitting on a weird angle here so the first thing that i picked up actually i picked up some pillowcases for the master bedroom just these linen ones which i thought are really cute as well with a little frill on but they're just really nice to add like i love linens anyway so i think for spring summer adding like linens into your home is just like so nice so i got two of those and then i also got some inners for them h&m do these inners so i got a couple of these for the cushions i then picked up there's this little tray and it comes with these little spoons, so cute. I really like love styling like these like woods in our home. Like, especially because this house is a new build, like I feel like you can add so much character with the furniture you choose. Obviously we've got lots of plans like paneling and painting, but like I said before, I just want to live in the space first and not rush decorate because some of the plans I had before, I've now changed because I've lived here for a bit longer. So I'm being very like, I don't want to be decorating and doing it wrong, picking the wrong colors. But I really love these little textures. Like I've got them on the kitchen sides and everything. I honestly constantly change up those work tops. But in here, these are really cute. I thought potentially like, it's a really nice to have on the kitchen side as sort of like a work top little feature. But they're these little dishes. She's, I think she's wrapped the two up. Honestly, I had so much and I couldn't find the shopping bags in H&M home in Birmingham. So I was wandering around. I bought a, I think it's in the, I think it's in the hallway. I bought like a wicker basket. Um, so I was using that as a carrier pack, throwing everything in. So I just couldn't find the shopping basket of these. And they just go on there like that. Got a little spoon. And I think like on work tops and that, they look really cute, but not sure what I'm gonna put in them yet. I was thinking of putting maybe like having the dish I bought some little teaspoons for our coffee station because I was originally going to pick brass, like lots of brass things, but I think with like gold tones and brass, it can look really yellow and it can make it look really cheap. So unless you find the nice, like really brushed brass, that's why I ended up sort of like going for silver styling because I've got the machine silver anyway. So I've got two packs of these little teaspoons. I've gone for these black ones um, instead of just having like silver and I just had gold and I thought I don't want to have the gold and the silver but they might go quite nice. I haven't got any like little bits of black detailing. Then I picked up some marble coasters because we desperately needed some coasters. We haven't gotten on at all. These were, yeah, these were $19.99. The teaspoons were $6.99 and I then think this all come as a little set. This was $17.99. Let me just unpackage the other one whilst I'm at it. I need to plan a trip to um, Bista Village. I've not gone for so long and I absolutely love the white company there because the deals were incredible. Like I need to get like more towels. I have got some towels from there, which I've got an outlet. So I need to go back to go and get some more towels. It's really good for bedding, for throws. They've also got a Soho home as well at Bista now. So I need to plan a trip to Bista and maybe just go just for home shopping and not, obviously I'll have a braise around everything else, but I just want to go like home shopping. Then there's this bag. So I got some napkins. Thought these were really nice. I really liked the raw edge. 
on the hem. So our table's a six seat table. So I've got, um, these come as two packs. So I've got three sets of those. And what I'm gonna do is do like a little, we've got this pantry cupboard there, which is just full of, honestly, there's so much like storage space in this kitchen and we didn't really have, I got rid of so much stuff at our old house. So I still need to like go back and really organize the cupboards because obviously we moved in, had the wedding, everything was just thrown in. So I just need to get everything out. And then some things now I think would work better. Obviously when you use a kitchen, you think, oh, okay, where can things go? So I'm gonna do a little pantry cupboard, which has got like all my other little bits in and then do like a little wicker basket with all like, the table styling stuff, like placemats and just whenever people come over and stuff. And then I got these which are also placemats, which I thought were very cute. I think I might have these on the table and maybe have those in the kitchen somewhere. Um, so I'm just worried about the, obviously the quartz or someone dropping them on this table and not denting it. And then I got this tail runner. So I've got actually three of these. So how I'm gonna style them is I'm gonna style them that way. So I saw it in H&M Home and they have, it looked really nice and a bit different as well. So I've bought a runner, which is gonna go down the middle, like literally long ways, which is this one, which is super nice. It ties in really nicely with these, with the raw edge. So I'm really loving the linen. It goes so nice as well with the rug. And then I'm gonna have those ones. So then when people come over and then we can just drape them over that way. I wanted to try and get a nice, like neutral um linen tablecloth but i couldn't find a square one everywhere i looked had round tablecloths so i need to have a look online to see if i can find a big tablecloth for this table because it's absolutely beautiful like this oak is but i'm just scared of it like getting scratched or like spilling something on it that's going to stain it so i just need to make sure i protect it as much as i can and then there's just a, another lot of pillows in this bag so yeah that's everything that i picked up from H&M Home, very successful, very sad I didn't see any clothes, but to be honest, I'd rather have spent my money on getting home stuff than clothes because obviously I have lots of clothes and I wasn't, I don't really, like I said, don't really shop as much this time of year. I don't really need anything, so I'd rather just buy bits for the house. But yeah, super happy to style all of these. I just need to get a nice big vase for the center of this table. It needs to be, I want something that looks really rustic, that's sort of like, like stony rustic. I saw some in H&M Home, but they're all like really weird, shapes like more like scandy vibes i want something that's like sort of like a typical vase where i can do like a nice big piece and have like floors in there that which i can style up for spring i was looking at getting a glass vase for on this table but i feel like because the kitchen's got like some glass on and there's like ceramic on there i just feel like i want to add a bit more a bit more tone um, and because obviously that wall's not painted or anything yet, like we're gonna panel that wall, I just think it'd be nice to have a bit of rustic tone, especially like with these linens and with these little bits on the table. I'll film a video for my home account of like styling the table when I've got absolutely everything, same with the coffee machine as well. I'll probably share it on my YouTube shorts, but everything that I've got here, I will link down below if you like Hugo's having a little sift now and all the stuff. I've also had some paint samples arrive from Lick Paint. So I ordered these last week and they literally just come. So I'm gonna have a little experiment. A lot of people recommended the white over one to me and also white number three so as you can see when i can put those two colors together that's more white and that is more of like a creamy undertone honestly white paints are so hard but with these samples you can peel and stick them on the wall so they're a bit bigger so i'm going to have a little experiment with these i've literally got so many colors to go through so i'm going to sort through all these i'm also going to pop on those new cushions as well on our beds